Hey there everyone, welcome to the series Automate the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at joints. So I have this connection parent object here. Let's create uh, automatic joints. So what I will do is, I will first create a connection group because I wanted to show you something. So connection group can be created from connection. So connections can be accessed from uh, model dot connections and then dot something like connection group you don't have to remember you just have to know the uh, keywords then you will easily get using this intelligence sense so add connection group and then it will be assigned to c group from c group i will make it as type so connection type will be joints and then i will type connection group dot automatic connections it should be create automatic connection it's a function so you will see joints are created now and the joint is slightly different from contact in the sense from this property so contact has just one contact region in under joint you also have a coordinate system so this coordinate system which you created before will also be useful now now what we can do is uh, there are a couple of things which i forgot to show in contact uh, video so when i created a automatic connection you will see that it came under this connection group so which was our c grp now if i create a, a join manual join directly under connections so it will be i won't assign it to name but i will just show you one thing model dot connections dot add join so you will see what is happening here it created a join but it is under one more group I didn't create this, create this group, so I just created a joint, a manual joint where, where nothing is selected, it's not auto generated, you can see scope and target, uh, sorry the reference and mobile is different, remember in context the naming was source and target, here we have reference and mobile, so you will see it is created, but what if I want to create under this same joint group, so at that time instead of uh, instead of uh, creating a joint under connections you have to create under connection group so cgrp dot same same add joint so in this what happens is it will create under this group so uh, this is something which i wanted to show now what i will do i will delete all these joints i will just create a manual joint i will also create I will I have deleted it but CGRP is already existing I will uh, rerun that and I will assign it to a name J1 J1 is our joint so yeah it's deleted so you cannot access it I will just rerun this and then here I will run rerun this so now joint one is created now let's work with J1 so J1 is our uh, name uh, then we have that rename function but i think it will not be renamed because nothing is assigned so it is fixed no selection no selection so uh, i will come to the scope and uh, sorry the reference scope and the mobile scope later let's go one by one from the top so here we have a connection type j1 dot i will just type type then i should get yeah it is type it's not connection type here i think connection type we saw in contact or maybe some contact type was there uh, here it's a enum property you will see enum name is joint type and here we have several joints like we have fixed sliding cylindrical joint then we have revolute spherical and also universal joint so anything you can choose uh, i will leave it whatever it is now we have the scoping method so if you remember you don't have to choose this name selection or geometry selection based on the scope automatically this phase is, this phase will be selected i mean based on the scope automatically scoping method will be selected so right now i don't know what is uh, what is the uh, id so i will just copy from here 24 and here what i will write i will create a name selection uh, i will create a selection info with the present selection so this will be uh, ext api dot selection manager dot current selection so it will give me a selection info i will not store into a variable rather i will directly assign it to i will cut it i will directly assign it to the scope so it will be j1 dot location i don't know the name 
so just to be sure it is reference location mobile location so i will just choose ref reference location and i will paste this correct selection you will see that one face is selected and this face is this one the red one okay and similarly for the other side let me just hide it i cannot use shortcut now because my recorder will capture that shortcut so this will be same i will rerun that and instead of reference location what i will do is i will just put mobile location mobile location whatever mobile location so you will see this one has become blue now uh, you might wonder what if i have already selected these two faces so what happens is um, let me just explode it slightly okay so let's say i have already selected these faces and now i want to create connection so what you do you go right click add and then you add uh, contacts for selected bodies uh, not this one insert insert a manual contact region or a joint so if you select that you will see these two faces are already selected can we do that yes we can do that i hope it can be done let's let me select it here and then from here what i will do after selecting i will just go to cgrp dot add join let's see if it's taking the selected bodies so it has taken so if you have already uh, if you have already selected it in this uh, graphics interface or using the selection manager then it will automatically create this join with the two faces so let's not use it now and then reference coordinate system this reference coordinate system we will focus here not here so this is one thing then what else we have uh, we have similarly same whatever we saw for reference we can be done for mobile and there is one more thing which i wanted to show you is for revolute so let's change the joint type to revolute so it will be j1 dot type as revolute so here we have some torsional stiffness and torsional damping so i am assuming this should be a quantity so what i can type j1 dot something like stiffness torsional stiffness uh, you will see it's a get set property and quantity it's a type quantity so you can use the quantity uh, method and assign some value with the with this unit system and then what else we have we have behavior sometimes we change it to deformable so this is for both uh, reference and mobile so here it will be j1 dot uh, this is behavior so you will see more mobile behavior and reference behavior and its type is enum it's a get and set property let's change for reference it will be deformable let's keep it deformable you will see this has changed to deformable and then we have some stops here i'm not sure i've never used it before and what else we have we have something like universal joint this also you can be changed or uh, most of the things are same this stops has increased from here red and blue you can get to know which one is allowed which one is not allowed now let's go to the reference quantity system so we have already stored the joint in j1 so j1 dot it is reference coordinate system and you will see the get and set property and coordinates and its type is coordinate system we have already covered coordinate system in our previous video so this is something custom i have made uh, let's change it a bit so um, let's make it something like uh, 0.1 meter 0 0.1 0 0.1 and what i will do i will reorient the coordinate system guys our coordinate system what's oh, too far 0.1 meter okay so what i will do i will select this face and put this surface this is fine now you will see global coordinate system y axis and our uh, our user defined coordinate system y axis is same so i will just make it slightly different just to make you understand now our y is same as minus g uh, so uh, i will let me store that in, uh, store it into some variable so it will be model dot coordinate systems uh, coordinate systems dot get children or else i can just do children children 
so i know i will get two children here so first one will be my manual uh, user defined zero will be the global so i will just type c1 so c1 dot name should match with coordinate system yes it is correct so c1 is our coordinate system now i will go back to j1 dot a reference coordinate system so as you see it's a get and set property not c1 j1 j1 dot reference coordinate system and it's a, since you have seen it's a get and set property so here i will assign c1 now before i assign let me show you something so you, you can see this z is matching with y something has been done so i will just try to change it if i do and if i come back i think it has not assigned uh, something is wrong here I will just rename it to some uh, coordinate system user and I will see whether it is assigned properly or not. Yes, it has assigned. I don't know why it's not showing properly. Uh, X is Z by geometry selection. What was our coordinate? Z, Y, Z. It's slightly opposite. I think uh, this was changed. Let's create this joint once again and see if it is creating properly or not. So it will be cgrp dot add joint. This was our J1. So let's check the reference. Let's assign two faces. Let me just quickly do that. And then okay i have this so let's match this that one this one is something different so i will do this let's check if c1 is actually our coordinate system or not and what does j1 dot reference coordinate system return j1 dot a reference coordinate system so both the types are same so let's rerun this and see maybe something it's not allowing because of the type i'm not sure but this way you can try to change it change the coordinate system here if i check the geometry selection axis 7 to 7 this only z axis is slightly different or else you can just change as you know if you type like uh, joint coordinate system i will put jc1 is equal to joint one dot reference coordinate system and then from jc1 you can do rest other changes like this phase which phase you want like this one is chosen as this phase so we will change it to 34 so let's see what it is showing j1 dot location jc1 it's not in location 34 this face is 24 but it's still taking this old one which was our 34 so our assignment is correct i don't know maybe some graphics issue or something because jc1 dot uh, jc1 is actually this coordinate system because you will see this location is not this one 24 but 34 34 is this face so this needs to be checked i don't know why it's not getting refreshed but we have covered most of the things on joint you can change the joint type as well even the solver type uh, though i have not used it and this one can be yeah i forgot to check this connection type we just saw the type so it will be j1 dot type uh it will be connection type so you will see it is body to body and it is stored under joint scoping type enum body to body and you can make it body to ground this is also possible so that's all for now guys see you soon in next video